Welcome to Storytime from Space, a project of the Global Space Education Foundation. To learn how you can support this exciting project, please visit storytimefromspace.com. Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Anne McLean, currently orbiting 250 miles aboard the surface of the Earth on the International Space Station as a member of Expedition 59. And today I want to read you a book called Astronaut Annie. It's about having dreams when you're little and realizing that dreams can come true with lots of hard work. When I was a little girl, only three years old, I told my mom that I wanted to be an astronaut and my dream came true. Maybe yours will too. Let's find out about Annie's dreams. On Monday, Annie ran all the way to her grandparents' house after school, without stopping. She couldn't wait to tell them the news. What's new, Annie? Grandpop called from the porch. We're having a career day at school on Friday, she said. Everyone dresses up like what they want to be when they grow up. Grandpop pulled Annie onto his lap. How exciting. What do you want to be? My teacher said to keep that a secret, but if you come to school Friday, you'll find out. I'll be there, he promised, locking Annie in a bear hug. But give me a clue about what you want to be, or I'll never let you go. I want the whole world to hear my stories, she gasped between giggles. Of course, Grandpop's eyes sparkled. I have exactly what you need inside. What do you think he's going to give her? I bet you want to be a reporter like me, he said, handing Annie his old camera. You can use this for career day. I love your stories, Annie said. On Friday, you'll hear my story too. How about a snack, Grandma called. Stomach rumbling, Annie ran into the kitchen. Did I hear something about career day and a secret, Grandma asked. Can you give me a hint? I want to be brave, Annie said. Aha, Grandma hopped to her feet. You want to be a bold, fearless cook like me. Everyone loves my daring desserts. Grandma handed Annie her mixing bowl and oven mitts. You can use these for career day. Annie kissed Grandma's cheek. You're the bravest cook I know. On Friday, you'll see how brave I can be too. That evening, Annie told her parents the news. After dinner, Dad called her into the garage. Could you please give me a clue for career day, he whispered. Annie smiled mysteriously. I want to explore far off places. I knew it! Dad began digging through a pile of boots, maps, and water bottles. You must want to be a mountain climber. I've dreamed of climbing Mount Everest for years, he said, handing Annie a large backpack. You can't keep a secret from your old dad. I enjoy our hikes, Annie said, but wait till you hear about the places I want to explore. Later, Annie went outside to shoot some hoops. Soon, Mom joined her. It's so dark out here, Mom said. Can you see the net? Annie stared up at the sky. I can see lots of interesting things at night. How about a hint for career day, Mom asked. Just between us girls. I want to soar high through the air. Annie jumped and shot the ball. Swish. I thought so. Wait till you see what I bought. Mom ran inside and returned with some high top sneakers. These were on sale and just your size. They're awesome, Annie said. Annie's mom dribbled down the driveway and made a perfect layup. I had the best time playing ball in school. I love basketball too, Annie said, and on Friday, you'll really see me fly. The 
That week, Annie worked on her costume every night. On Friday, the school buzzed with excitement. Career day is finally here, Annie. Dad said, do you feel like you're on top of the world? Mom scanned the pack room for empty chairs. This is just like a crowded playoff game, she explained. Some tasty snacks would qu quiet this group down, Grandma said. Grandpa winked at Annie, and today would make quite a news story. Soon the teacher welcomed everyone. One by one, each student went to the front of the room to share. Finally, it was Annie's turn. When I grow up, I want to soar high through the air, she said, putting on her new sneakers. Mom flashed Annie a game-winning smile. And explore faraway places, she slid Dad's backpack over her shoulders. Dad gave Annie a thumbs up. I'll be brave and bold, Annie said, pulling on her oven mitts. Grandma's cheeks grew round as ripe apples. And the whole world will hear my exciting stories, Annie slipped the camera around her neck. Grandpop's eyes sparkled like stars. Then Annie stood up on her chair, put the mixing bowl firmly on her head, and shouted, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. And astronaut Annie jumped high off her chair, explored far off places, and soared through the air. A famous space traveler, she was fearless and bold, and the world loved to hear all the stories she told. The end. So what did we learn about astronaut Annie? She knew what she wanted to be when she grew up. She worked hard for it. She was brave. And she told the people around her and they believed in her too. What do you wanna be when you're older? Have you told your teachers and your friends and your parents? Are they excited too? Think about the places you'll go in life. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be an astronaut more than anything. And today I'm so happy to be living in space, getting to wear these spacesuits and explore our universe. Maybe someday you'll be up here with me too.